I knew it! We were right to believe there was another Illumina Pokémon! The mural was spot on! Yes, which raises the question. Did things really happen the way the mural depicts them? And hello everyone, and welcome back to our expeditions here in Pokemon Snap, where we are getting closer and closer to the heart of the mysteries that lie at the center of the secret of the Illumina Pokemon of the Lentil region and Durice Island. And we discovered the most amazing ruins of remembrance last time with a beautiful Pokemon, Xeranas, which I'm probably gonna say his name wrong over and over again, because there's just, I mean, I feel like that specific one should like have have a, a specific name and not just the species name of Pokemon, to be fair, because it seems that that Xeranas actually has powers of the Illumina phenomena that it might have gifted to some of the other Pokemon from the islands of Lintel so that they could defend themselves from a meteorite that would otherwise destroy their land. So let's see if my hypothesis and theory possibly lines up with the data that we have gathered. Maybe Aziranas called out to the others for help. So they could make a barrier or something to stop the meteor? Ha! Huh, see, Rita's on top of it. She also looks like she's drawn this, which is beautiful. I really love this kind of crayon patterning. A barrier big enough to cover the whole lintel region? Hmm, I don't know. That's gotta be what happened. That'd mean the people who built the ruins long ago helped the Illumina Pokemon too. But the meteorite came over 2,000 years ago. Shouldn't Xeranas have been awakened long before now? I mean, 2,000-year-old Xeranas needs its own name, if you ask me. I think stopping the meteorite took just about everything it had. Okay, this is actually, like, starting to remind me a lot of the Crown region in- or, excuse me, like, the, um, Tundra region. The Crown Tundra region in the Galar region for Pokémon and Pokémon Sword and Shield. With our little Calyrex. So much so that it's still tired after a 2,000 year nap. Hmm. When do you think that mural was made anyway? Wait, what? And who do you think made it? I, well. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I love his, his deep, intense thought. Wait. Why is it you were able to meet those Illumina Pokemon? You guys are asking this question now? Now? We're six Illumina Pokemon in, guys! This should have come up at the beginning. You guys get it, right? Get what? Of course! So obvious. Oh, they like me! Okay, that's adorable. I am one with nature. I am literally like the sleeping beauty of Pokemon right now and I live it. It's so simple. Do you really not know, Professor? Hmm. Pokemon can tell when someone really loves them. And they return that love right back. Right? Aww. I mean, that's true for anybody and everything, too. That must be from a study I haven't read. We have got to get you out of the lab more often. Oh, that's really cute! Is that the end? What it is! So Pokemon can tell when they're they're really loved. What? That's literally the end? Oh my gosh, I thought we might have a little bit more going on in there. Which is why I like didn't do anything until this point. <laughs> alright, alright. So Pokemon can tell when they're really loved. And I think that's super duper sweet because people can tell that too. You know when somebody's being authentic with you and really connecting, and you know when somebody is just kind of like being polite to you because they have to. You know when you really feel connected to like somebody or something. I really feel that very strongly. It's, it's why a lot of animals seem to pick up on people. When you treat them with a lot of respect, when you give them space, when they feel like they're really loved by you, I just, it's a big deal to me. It really is. Look at that. Look at that. Because I think that's what makes it so that I always feel so connected to the world, even though I'm a very shy person myself. It's because I really love what's outside. 
I really love the beauty of the natural world, the trees, the animals, at times even the people who happen to be in it. Oh, look at all our pictures we took! I'm so proud of this! And I like that that's reflected in this story, too. Oh, I totally forgot about that poor little one! Oh, these are cool pictures. But it is reflected in the story, too. When you reach out with authentically and enthusiastically caring about something, uh, you create more of that emotion in the world. That's one of the best lessons I've ever learned in my entire life. The, the, the actions that you take, the emotions that you put out into the world and within your heart and within your head will become seeds of themselves. The more you put love out, the more that love will begin to be what you harvest and it will create more seeds of love. The more you put out judging people or yourself, the more that the, that judgment will bear its own seeds like weeds that can take over your life. And so intentionally trying to create a environment where you encourage love and curiosity and kindness will create a place where those things will be the flowers that bloom in your life and the seeds that will nourish you. So if you're, it's hard sometimes, if you're looking for like that emotion, it doesn't seem to be around you a lot. Remember, you have to start by intentionally planting the seed of it and doing your best to nurture that. And eventually, maybe it'll be like a whole bunch of dandelions and you'll just be rolling around in happiness and joy and curiosity. I speak from experience. But all right, friends, let's go ahead and we're actually going to skip and see what lies ahead for us now. I didn't think the end would come that soon. This has to be one eventful survey, right? It sure has. One that took us to every corner of Lintel. None of it would have happened without the three of you. I can't thank you enough for all your hard work. We found even more topics begging to be studied. Exactly. Well, I'm sticking around to help. I was hoping you would. And I'm sure your research is just getting started. Speaking of which, weren't you going to explain your new idea, Professor? Oh yes, I was. Let me tell you about course scores. They're a system I've devised to measure how thoroughly you can research a course in a single outing. Quality counts here, but so does quantity. Try to photograph as many Pokemon as you can. <gasps> Is that like... That's like... <laughs> a sporting event for taking wildlife pictures. That's hilarious. If you use the online internet feature, you can see your rankings for your course scores too. Oh geez, now that they're adding a little bit of a competitive nature into it, I'm getting into this. And wasn't there one more piece of good news? Ha, you must mean burst mode. That's a new feature I had the professor add to your research cameras. If you turn it on, your camera will take multiple photos in quick succession with one press of the shutter. Yes! You can turn it on and off from the settings menu. Give it a shot, it should come in handy. Yes! Man, Professor, you're almost as cool as my mentor. Wait a sec, I'm going on an expedition. Ah, I love expeditions. Oh, now go and get back to building your personal photo decks. Enjoy. You guys, wow. Oh, we covered a lot of adventures, huh? Okay, so what's the good news you were talking about? Oh, I bet you're itching to know. You're the one who brought it up. Okay, fair point. Anyway, I got the professor to let us go check out the reef in the evening. Whoa, nice. Right? I can't wait to see the sunset over the reef. It's going to be breathtaking. Yeah, that'll make for some sweet photos. I call first trip. Hey, no fair. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, you guys. Heck. Grand research team. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. I really, really love that. All the areas of the lintel region researched, pixelated. Oh, that's perfect. Snagging the pixelated thing as the last filter. And let's go ahead and just celebrate all that we have accomplished. Let's come on down and let's actually see the reef in the evening for the first time. But before we do that, I do want to go ahead and turn on burst mode because that sounds amazing. All right, let's do three photos. Fun fact, three photos at once is how I usually go ahead and uh, take pictures when Chips and I do selfies, because that way we each get a, a selfie where we're both blinking at different times, and then we get a selfie where we're actually like looking at each other correctly. All right, and here we go. 
The sun setting on discovering new areas other than the mysterious forest. And let's celebrate the wonderful adventure that we have had in Pokemon Snap, don't worry, with even more to go. By, oh, settling on in with the sunset. <gasps> Ooh, I love that burst mode. Oh, what's that? Inky, oh my gosh. Wow. This is so beautiful in the evening. <gasps> Look at the little Raichu. Oh, they're surfing. Oh, did you see the squirrel? It used bubble beam. Do it again, do it again, buddy. Okay, he's doing it again and I'm gonna take it a picture. Hey, Raichu. Okay, that's precious. Oh my gosh. I really love that. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Bubble Beam! Go, Squirtle, go! That's really adorable. Alright. What do we have in here? Somebody is doing Whirlpool, just like in the desert. Oh, Wingle. Oh, I love having burst mode. This is so nifty. What else is going on over here, huh? The current seems really, really fast. Oh, I think we're going a new direction. I didn't expect that. Oh, because the whirlpool, I think, has whipped us around into a new place. <gasps> oh, hi, guys. Look, Willard's sleeping. Oh. Oh, I love this. Why? Driftblim, what are you guys doing here? I didn't think you guys would be at the ocean. All right, we're going around Wellord. What happens if you smack one of these guys? Oh. I love it. I love seeing their behaviors in totally new ways. Oh, look at that. Primarina. Oh, this is such a beautiful way to wrap up our expeditions. Look at her. What? Oh, she's so pretty. I love that we got some pictures of her just like going ahead and like blowing the little bubble beam out. I wonder if the Pokemon who can use bubble beam sometimes do it just for fun. Oh, there she is again. Like, just to play. Otters sometimes will just play. <gasps> Lapras! A Lapras in the sunset? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's so relaxing. I want to be at the beach at night, like in the evening like this with my husband. We'd probably have a great time. What's this? There's something in the blue hole. Oh? Is that supposed to concern me? Because it vaguely concerns me. What's this? Whoa! Oh, there's two paths that we could have gone. Oh, what's that? Is that some big sandbar? Wow, that's amazing. Oh, look, we're coming up and over. Lapras, you're beautiful. Oh my gosh. What's this? Other Pokemon also love the, so the gentle sound of Lapras's singing. Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh, I only have a few pictures left. Okay, I need to be very careful. Hello, friend. You want an apple? Would you like an apple? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There you go. He didn't want the apple, so I'll go ahead and give him a little energy. So I feel less guilty about having smacked him with the apple. Oh, we're almost, we're almost out of time. Oh, look! There's a marine and a clam pearl. Oh, there's a bunch of clam pearls over there. Oh, I wonder if we had like given them some energy, what would have happened? Oh, this was so cool. I love Lapras. They're one of my favorites. You guys, wow. And we still have level after level after level and all sorts of special Lindhawk ecology quest to go ahead and work our way through so that we can discover even more of the beauty of this world. Oh, There we go. 
And we have even more to do so that we can try to understand what the Pokemon ecology is like to pull together some of the observations that we have collected, both from the creatures that we know about in the real world and the creatures that we know about in the beautiful world of Pokemon to become proper Pixelmon Rangers and Pixel Biologists, I should say, so that we can uh, just have some fun bringing those things together. And let's go ahead and see what the professor has to say about all these. All right, professor. Whale Lord was pretty happy. Inky! I, we need to figure out if we're gonna be able to interact with that little one a little bit better in the future. Raichu, freaking adorable. Squirtle being super cute. Wingle being absolutely awesome. Still love that picture of Wingle we have. Mantine. Driftblim! The first time we have run into a Driftblim. Excellent picture for it, too. And I love this picture of the Primarina. Primarina, there we go. Wow. And then, of course, Lapras! Oh, wow. And Clam Pearl, another new one. There we are. Huh. Well, if I ever needed inspiration to be able to build up our Pixelmon Ranger regions, I definitely have it now. We've learned so much from our Pokemon uh, Snap adventures. I oh, still need a little bit more to go. Oh, what's this? Oh, the course score! What? They measure how thoroughly you've researched a course in a single pass. I'll start keeping track of it for you from now on. Get your Shutterfinger ready. Two million points! What the heck? That's pretty intense! Wow! Fantastic work. You're closer to becoming a top-class photographer. Huh. Okay. Do I get points for that? Fairy collector. The reef in the evening. Nice! Alright, guys! Well, wow! That was fantastic. That was fantastic. That was fun. That was like a dream come true. I loved every minute of it. If you guys would love to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious because that curiosity is really where some of our best adventures are waiting for us. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, like I said, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.